Coming up on today's episode, it's Mary's Mini 101. Everything you ever wanted to know about doing a Mary's Mini, I'm going to tell you my experiences, I'm going to tell you what the rules are, and I'm going to tell you some tips on how you can make it work for you. Let's get to the intro. Welcome back to another episode of Plant-Based Dads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, whole food cooking channel. We do some product reviews. We do some DIY stuff because I like to do things myself. Sometimes it's baking with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant-Based Dads family. If you've been following the show for a while, you know that I'm doing the starch solution. The starch solution is a way of eating where you eat high carb, low fat, and you lose weight. It's worked for me, I've lost 30 pounds and I absolutely love uh, being able to eat all my favorite foods and not being afraid of carbs and all that crazy stuff. If you're doing the starch solution, if you're doing it with me, because I'm much stronger when I'm with you guys, then the best place to get support for that would be our Facebook group. There's a picture of it right here, plant-based ads, starch solution enthusiasts. You can join us on Facebook, there's thousands of people in that group either wanting to do the starch solution or doing the starch solution or have done it for many years and they're experts at it. We're all just kind of sharing our experiences, sharing recipes, sharing photos of our food. We're doing challenges. Every month is a 21 day challenge to get people started and get them on the right track. Uh, so check that out if that's something you're interested in and you're looking for uh, like-minded people to support you in this. So today's video, Mary's Mini. No two words together have ever made more people say, what is that about? Mary's Mini is one of the brainchilds of Dr. McDougall and his wife, uh, Mary McDougall, which is where the name comes from. And it is a starch-based uh, term diet where you do this diet for 10 days and it kind of changes the way you eat. And some people do this as a precursor to the starch solution or a high-carb, low-fat diet. And some people just do it to kind of reset themselves. This video is going to be a Mary's Mini 101. In this video, I'm going to go over what the rules are for Mary's Mini. Then I'm gonna go over what I did and show you some foods that I ate when I did it. Then I'm gonna answer some questions about uh, Mary's Money that come up often. And then finally, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to make it work for you. First, a little history about Mary's Mini. Mary's Mini came to be when uh, Dr. McDougall and Mrs. McDougall would often get questions about, hey, I know you've got this starch solution thing going and the starch-based ba eating, and it's not a diet, but it's a way of life but I really am a diet person and I need a diet, right? People weren't satisfied with, this isn't a diet, this is a way of life. They really wanted a diet because they were so used to the diet mentality. So they kind of just threw this together and put it out there and said, hey, this is Mary's Mini, you can do this for 10 days, this will get you started on the right track and this will work. They expected it just to kind of be a thing and people would forget about it, but 10 years later, it's still going. Actually, more than 10 years later, about 14 years later. Uh, it was first introduced in the McDougal newsletter in the June 2006 issue. And then right away, the next issue, July 2006, there were a bunch of questions they had to answer on it because people were interested. Here's what the Mary's Mini is about. It is a 10-day diet. You're changing the way you eat for 10 days. Now, Mary's Mini has changed since it first came out in 2006. In the beginning, he allowed fruit, and now they don't. And we'll talk about why that happened. But here are the current rules for Mary's Mini. Rule number one is you pick a starch. This is a starch-based way of eating, and you're going to pick one of your main starches. That starch can be either, either white potatoes or sweet potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, oats, winter squashes, corn, millet, barley, wheat berries. You have to stick with one, all right? That's your starch. Rule number two, this will be your starch for the next 10 days. You cannot switch between starches. If you pick white potatoes and then day two, you're like, I'm tired of white potatoes, I want sweet potatoes. You have to stay with white potatoes for all 10 days. And we're going to talk about why that's the case. It's a very big part of making sure that this works for you. Rule number three, use the starch every day for every meal. If you want to snack between meals, eat more of the starch that you chose. If you're doing potatoes and you've had lunch and now you're waiting for dinner and you're hungry, have some more potatoes. Those are fine. That's what you're eating. You can prepare your starches in different ways. So if you're doing potatoes, for instance, you can start the day off with hash browns. And then for lunch, you may want a baked potato. And then for dinner, you may want a twice baked potato. That's fine. You can prepare them all different ways. The thing is you're going to keep eating potatoes 
every meal for 10 days. Rule number four, it is a 50-50 plate when you're making food for your meals. So you're gonna have one side of your plate as whatever starch you chose, and on the other side of the plate, you're gonna have simple green vegetables. Simple ones, not artichokes, not anything complicated. Here's what you should choose from. Mary says that you should have summer squashes, pea pods, remember peas that are in the pod. If they're outside of the pod, they're a starch. If they're inside of the pod, they're a non-starchy vegetable. You've already got your starch, so you don't want uh, green peas. You should look at leafy lettuce, some broccoli, cauliflower, uh, sprouts, anything that will fill your stomach with fewer calories than the starchy vegetables, right? This is the side of your plate that's very low in calories. What you wanna do is the calories from the starch should be your calories, the base of the meal. And the non-starchy vegetables are very low in calories. They're just filler to take up that room in your stomach, right? At a very low cost calorie-wise. That's how the 50-50 plate works. Rule number five is you can add some simple condiments. You can do salsa, mustard, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, liquid aminos, sriracha, hot sauce, any of that stuff. Any of that stuff that doesn't have a lot of calories. You can add some additional flavors uh, with salt and pepper, unless you're having a problem with salt, and leave that out. Low-fat salad dressings are fine. Uh, Barbecue sauce is fine, but you have to be careful of the sugar in barbecue sauce. If it's a high sugar barbecue sauce, avoid it or use just a little bit. You can also throw in some packaged soups over your potatoes if you're having a potato or over your starches. McDougal makes those little soups and they're really low in calorie and they don't have any fat. You could heat that up and just pour it over whatever starch you're having and that would really change the texture of it. So that's an option also. Rule number six, foods that you can't have on uh, Mary's Mini. Fruits, and we'll talk about why. Anything processed or packaged, you don't want anything with a, with a label on it, basically, because those are the foods that have hidden oils and hidden sugars and all that. Um, anything packaged, you want to just forget. Uh, any flour, we're not having bread, we're not adding flours to sauces or gravies, nothing flour related. No beans, right, which is a big part of the starch solution, so we're not having that on Mary's Mini. No heavy gravies. No nuts or nut butters, no avocado, no coconut, no chocolate, no tofu, and no types of oil of any kind. Those are the foods that you can't have. So those are the six rules. You're focusing on a simple starch on one side of your plate and a simple green or yellow light leafy vegetable on the other side of the plate. You don't wanna make the food complicated. Don't recipe cook. Don't stay up thinking about printing stuff off the internet to make this work. The idea of it is that you're doing simple foods. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's what I did on Mary's Mini. I did a seven day mini because we were at the end of the month and with seven days left before the next challenge in our group. We had these 21 day challenges for Starch Solution. We had just come off that and I wanted to do something for the seven days. My scale had not moved in months. I was just kind of stuck at the same place, so I was willing to try something different. And Mary's Mini was the answer. When I did this, I chose rice because I eat potatoes all the time and I wanted something different. So I didn't want seven days of just potatoes when that's what I normally eat and I wasn't really getting anywhere with this. So I switched it to rice. So for seven days, I made rice. Now. I didn't do like a rice type of dish for breakfast and then some other rice dish for lunch and then a, a different type of rice just for dinner. I just made one rice bit dish in the Instant Pot and I'll talk about it. And then I ate that same dish three times a day for my meals. I started on day one with an Instant Pot full of Spanish rice. I don't have a video for this yet, but I'm gonna put one out at some point. Uh, it was actually really good. I've been making this for years, but I just don't make it often because I'm not a big fan of rice. This actually gave me a chance to learn more about rice and be able to experience more with it. I also made every one of these meals for the whole seven days in the Instant Pot, but this was the start of it. You can see here that I've paired it with some sauteed squash that I sauteed in soy sauce. Uh, to shake it up a bit on the second day, I added some peas, which is another starch, but I did it anyway, and some broccoli sprouts on top of it. So that lasted me day one and day two. I didn't have to cook again until day three. On the morning of day three, I was gonna be out of food. So I broke out the Instant Pot again, which actually just sat on the counter the whole seven days. And this time I cooked up some cilantro lime rice. I have a video for that recipe right here. So you can click on that and check that out. It was a fresh, delicious recipe with a chance to eat white rice. When I do make rice, I don't make white rice. So this was kind of a chance to, to have white rice again. To me, I like brown rice better because I feel like I get more nutrition out of it. So you may have different feelings on it. As far as the starch solution is concerned in Mary's Mini, Rice is fine either way. 
I paired it with some broccoli and I ate this for two days. That lasted day three and day four um, and it was really good. On day five, we decided we wanted fried rice. So the way we make fried rice for starch solution is by cooking rice in the Instapot. I have a video for that right here, how to cook perfect brown rice in the Instapot. And it comes out perfect every time. And then you take that brown rice and then we threw it all together in the skillet and started making our fried rice. Again, I have a video right here for starch solution fried rice. It's the exact recipe and it's absolutely delicious. I just threw a bunch of frozen vegetables in there. I stuffed it with as much as I could get in there. And you can see right here, uh, you know, it was a lot of food and it looked absolutely delicious. On the first day, I threw it in a bowl, topped with some scallions and I ate that. Um, on the second day, I ate it with uh, broccoli and sprouts on top. This was so good. So this lasted day five and part of day six, but you know, Tim was eating this stuff too. We actually had to make another batch of it halfway through day six to get us through day six and day seven. So toward the end of Mary's Mini, we basically just ate fried rice because it was just so good. So that's what I ate on Mary's Mini. And here's what happened. Within 48 hours of eating on the Mary's Mini, the scale starts moving down. Why? Why is it moving now? All of a sudden, it didn't move for months. And now, the scale's like dropping. I mean, not a huge amount, but it's at a decent rate. What happened, right? I can tell you what happened. Because I was just eating the simple, basic starches and vegetables. Nothing exciting. I wasn't, you know, posting, well, I was posting photos, but I wasn't making, well, I was still making it look good, but I wasn't uh, getting elaborate with my food. The simplicity of the food is what made it so photogenic. So I started learning over again, right, how to cook without overdoing it. And that's what led to the, the weight loss starting again. So Mary's Mini got my, you know, metabolism moving again and got me moving down the scale and it's still moving now. So I still will have a salad for dinner with uh, tofu in it. I'm just not having a whole block of tofu. I'm just having four or five little cubes thrown in there with my salad and, you know, with my low calorie dressing and, you know, with my whatever starch I'm having, I might throw sweet potatoes in the salad. I just now eat much smarter and I, I don't indulge on the stuff that's higher in calories that's allowed on the starch solution. Okay, here's some things about the Mary's Mini that you may have questions about. Why can't you have fruit on it? And here's why, because Dr. McDougall talks about this. You could easily eat 2,000 calories in fruit in an hour or two. And that's me. I start every day in the morning with fruit. I, we have fresh uh, pineapple cut up. There's always fresh cantaloupe. There's bananas. There's sumo oranges are in season right now. Like there's a lot. And I'm just like jumping into that. I love cold, fresh fruit. I could easily eat 2,000 calories just in fruit for the day. So I've learned that I have to pair fruit back. So on Mary's Mini, there is no fruit. Originally, when she designed it in 2006, fruit was allowed. But as they went on, they decided to take it off because it was just hindering people's progress. One question that people always ask is, why can't I switch between starch? If they're all kind of this, doing the same thing, what's the difference? Here's what the difference is. And McDo Dr. McDougall points this out very eloquently. Variety causes people to consume more food and more calories, right? If you're looking forward to something changing up, you're going to eat a lot more of it. As a result, more food is eaten during a meal uh, that consists of a variety than when it's just one food. So keep that in mind and that contributes to the whole making the food monotonous and boring so you're not looking forward to it and overeating. Another question comes up about coffee. Now coffee enhances weight loss because uh, it increases the metabolism because of the caffeine. So coffee necessarily isn't a bad thing for you but it's not a health food. So you don't want to drink it thinking that you're doing your body good. It's it's not a health food, but it doesn't hurt your metabolism assume, assuming you drink it black. If you start putting additives in it, uh, creamer and sugar and all that, then you're changing what it does to you. Why can't I have nut butters or avocado or coconuts? And because all of those items are higher in fat. Nuts, nut butters, avocados, so good for you, right? All whole food fats, assuming you're getting, you know, nut butters made with just the nuts and that's it, but they're all fat. On Mary's Mini, you don't want any of that stuff. You want to make sure that uh, you are avoiding those for the 10 days. After that, you want to go back to them. I mean, it's not good to avoid those long term because you, are, you do need them for digestion. So that's where the starch solution kind of comes into play. But for Mary's Mini for the 10 days, that stuff is just all fat and it's not going to work for what we're trying to do. So how can you make Mary's Mini work for you? Here's two suggestions. One, make the meals ahead of time like I did. 
cook it in one pot, make one pot meals, have some vegetables on the side if you have to, if you need something other than what's in the pot, and have that over and over again. A lot of people will put up videos on how they've made different versions of potatoes throughout the day. That's great, but again, you're putting a lot of effort into something that's going to seem exciting and you're gonna overeat. The way I did it, we did not overeat and it worked. Another way to be successful in the Mary's Mini is to join the Facebook group, Plant-Based Ads Starch Solution Enthusiasts, our Starch Solution group. Every month, we have a 21-day challenge for the Starch Solution. That challenge starts the first Monday of the month. So in February, the first Monday was February 1st. So on the 21st of February, the Starch Solution Challenge, the 21-day challenge, is going to end. We are gonna have a however many days are left in the month after that, seven or eight day Mary's Mini to finish the rest of the month. And we'll be having an end of the month Mary's Mini every month in 2021 for however many days are left after the challenge. So every month we've got a Mary's Mini challenge in our Facebook group. If you're interested in doing the Mary's Mini or the Starch Solution, uh, jump in that Facebook group if you're not already there and you can be part of those challenges every month and, and do it along with us. All right, guys, Mary's Mini 101. I hope you got some value out of this. That's our video for today. Please hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You'll become part of the Plant-Based Ads family. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. If there's a DIY video, that'll be on Wednesday. If there's baking with Tim or anything else, that'll be on Saturday. And please leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts on Mary's Mini. You have any experience with this? Has it worked for you? I'd love to hear about it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.